bit of a quiet morning on our standards, but well done to Taylor for finding the lions first. Now, we've decided to do a bit of birding, and this is definitely a new bird species for everyone out there. So get those pens ready, and um, get ready to make a nice big tick for uh, Jackson's widow bird. Aren't they beautiful? And you can see the males are the big black dark ones. The fem ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, did you see that one that just landed? I wasn't sure what it was. Brown one. No, with the red head. Not this guy, yeah. No, 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 no. Go out again. Come out, come out, come out. And, okay, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Behind those ones. Lift. A little bit there. A little bit to the left. Oh, what have we there? That's a funny looking bird. Ah, isn't that pretty? I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I'm gonna have to double check quickly. But the Jackson's widow birds, and now I think we have a new species for everyone as well. I'm just gonna confirm, I'm pretty sure. And I said my East African birds are a little bit rusty, I haven't birded up here since about 2010, so um, I think I'm pretty sure what it is. And it is exactly what I thought it was. Now, everyone, that is a red-headed quelia. That is a very nice bird species. That is not one you see too often. So, not they don't occur in as big a flocks as uh, the the red-billed cousins. But that is a red-headed quelia. Mary says, all the birds are so beautiful. Indeed they are, Mary. That's a very cool one. I'm quite excited. That's the first time I've seen this one on this trip. The red-headed quelia. Okay, so, well, let's get back to the Jackson's widow birds, because Daniel and YouTuber say, aren't their tails amazing? They are. So the males only grow that for the breeding season. And once they've finished impressing the ladies, uh, they lose that, that tail and their coloration, and they become quite dull and dab brown. So it is, it is fascinating that, that those tails, um, because they could make you a little bit easier to catch um, from a, a predatory bird point of view, but uh, those tails are there to just impress the girls. I'm just having a quick look with my binos up on the hillside, see if I can spot anything. Now, I have seen Boha reedbuck in this area before. It doesn't look like anyone's out today. What have we got there? I can hear some other birds. Uh, I can hear a pectoral patch cesticular, but I can't see them just yet. And you see this is a lovely green area here. Um, that is uh, obviously where the streams come down from the mountain. And uh, it attracts quite a lot of birds. You can see the nice thick rank grass that widow birds like so much. And there we go. You can see that green, green grass. Okay, well, we're going to keep moving. Leave the Jackson's widow birds to keep sunning themselves. And while we do that, Taylor's with a pachyderm.